Hey, welcome back to this week's video. This time I'm going to show you an SEO growth hack that is called Comparison Pages. It's used by companies like Podia, SEMrush and also ourselves and the results have been amazing because Comparison Pages help you to drive high intent traffic towards your website without needing to spend so much time on creating content. But let's dive in first. So what are Comparison Pages? And I will show you a real life example of software as a service company Podia today. They are selling online courses out there or a platform uh, that you can use to build your own online course. So let's take a look at their website. On the Podia website, you will find different pages that have a URL that is something like Podia versus Gumroad or Podia versus Teachable. And as you can imagine, these are landing pages that try to rank on this kind of keyword. And I will talk later about the theory behind it and why that makes sense. But let's just quickly go through the website. On the website itself, you will find on the one hand, different kind of features that Podia has. You will also find a ton of like keywords that relate to the competitor. And then you will also have some kind of like comparison table and different things that really, really help drive um, leads signups towards the business. But I will analyze all of this landing page later on in this video and let's talk about the theory first. So the idea behind these kind of comparison pages is that A, people want to compare different solutions if they are really trying to um, find one and use it for their own business and B, people dislike their current solutions. So there are a ton of people out there who are using, for example, Teachable or who are using Podia and they are looking for a new solution because there are uh, different things that they don't like uh, or the solution is not working for them accordingly as they wanted it to be. So I personally like to create comparison pages because A, most of the customers or people that come to the website are actually high intent customers. They really want to sign up and find a solution that they can use right away. B, these comparison pages are often really, really easy to rank. So it's really easy for us to be on top of uh, the Google SERPs. Three, they are easy to create. So we can just build one simple template and then use it for all of our competitors. And the fourth thing is most of the comparison pages that I have seen in the past have very, very high conversion rates. So let's take a deep dive into the comparison page, pages that Podia is actually using. Podia is starting out, and this is the example where they compare themselves to Gumroad. Podia is doing a really, really great job taking the disadvantages of the competitor solution and then focusing on the advantages of yeah, their own solution. And as you can see, they are starting out with a customized H1 heading. In this kind of head, uh, heading, you already see that they found out that most customers that are dissatisfied, dissatisfied with Gumroad say it's because of the transaction fees. And so they are really trying to pinpoint here on the fact that Podia is not charging as much transaction fees as Gumroad or that they are running on a like regular SaaS plan or something. After the customized H1, they are also um, giving some yeah, subtitle, some context on why Podia is a great alternative. And it's really important that you also include all of the like, compet like the competitor brand name in your landing page so that you will rank on top. After the H1, they are moving over to the main advantages. And also here, you have to make sure that you pick the worst features of your competitor or the things that the people dislike and then really show why, you're, why you have these kind of main advantages. And in this case, it would be around that Gumroad mainly focuses on digital downloads, but some of the people that are selling digital downloads also want to offer one-on-one -on -one coaching or a real online course. And here Podia comes into play and says, okay, we are the better Gumroad if you really want to do some of these things. And then coming back to these transaction fees and also the fact that you can build a full website on Podia. And you will probably have the question, so where do they get the inspiration from to create these kind of advantages? I would suggest you go over to your competitors, G2, Trustpilot, or also Google around and see what people are actually writing about this. And forums or Slack channels can also be very, very interesting about this and create this kind of list where you have 
the main three to five things that people dislike about the service and then you can actually build your landing page that really focuses on these things and, and compare them um, to the ones of your solution so that you can really show that you are superior. And Podia does a great job in doing that also by customizing the comparison table that they have on the website. So as you can see, all of the things on the left uh, in the legend are different uh, from solution to solution. So for example, if they compare it to Gumroad, we have transaction fees here, but if they would compare it to Teachable, it could be around integrations or something. So always make sure to customize it um, in regards to the solution that you are comparing yourself to. Then they are moving over to the next section. And this is really interesting because they give a really a deep dive guide on migration from the other solution towards Podia. And this is really relevant because a lot of customers stick with the solution just be because they don't want to spend the time to migrate everything that they have towards a new solution. So if you can actually make it really, really easy for them, this might be a huge plus and also um, this might lead to a ton of conversions and increasing conversion rate in general. Furthermore, on the website, you can find external trust elements. That means that they are not only talking about the fact that they think that they are better than the competitor solution Gumroad here, but also other people. So in this case, they have A, some kind of like study uh, about creator friendliness uh, or like an index where they rank really, really high. And then they have a dedicated um, review or testimonial of a creator that actually came from Gumroad. And this is really interesting that they say, okay, this is an example, a customer that was at Gumroad before, then went to Podia and he's really, really satisfied. And that helps up to build trust amongst the yeah, potential new clients. Afterwards, they have a big content section that is um, yeah, giving some background information on the difference between Podia and Gumroad, but also elaborates on the general features of Podia here. Last but not least, or as we come to the end section of the landing page, they are using supportive data. Um, if you have something like this, so for example, comparing on the transaction fees, this is amazing, especially for the analytical people. So in this case, you can say, okay, uh, um, um, $39 instead of 300, that's amazing. So you have to change right away. If you have any kind of things like this, make sure to include it into the landing pages. And then last but not least, they have a CTA that drives um, to, towards a sign-up um, of the creators. And yeah, you can also have a customized FAQ at the end where you can give general answers, but also answers around yeah, common questions that arise um, during the migration or from Gumroad cast customers in this case. And you can take a lot of this outside of... Um, like your support tickets, um, asking your customers, and really that helps build up this nice landing page. And if we are looking at the big picture here, so for Podia, they have created over 40 of these different pages, and that drives a ton of traffic towards their website, and they can easily build a new page if a new competitor arises. The results have been amazing for them, so they, they shared some of that um, some time ago and back then they only had nine pages and a traffic of around 5,500 people that were coming towards the website through that and remember it's high intent traffic and they said okay these kind of landing pages have a conversion rate that is over 10 percent so better than most landing pages that I have seen in the past. And now it's your turn. Think about ways to create comparison pages for your own website and your own business and they are like five simple steps. First one, research the weaknesses of your competitors. As I said, you can do that to, through Trustpilot, G2, but also just type into Google and then you see the auto suggests. Then I would create a page structure that outlines the basic structure from heading, the sections that you want to have, and you can either do that in Figma, Miro, or um, Google Docs. Then if you are in the Webflow ecosystem, it's really, really easy to build a template and a CMS library. The CMS library helps you to um, quickly build these pages without always having the need to create new ones um, for every single customer. So just build the template, fill out the CMS, and then you can automatically pop populate the page. Then you need to create the content. Um, this can be about the 
um, descriptions and the in detail comparisons. And finally, you can launch it and optimize the website, the landing pages on the fly. And you can see over time the websites, the landing pages will rank, drive traffic, drive sales. And ultimately, um, yeah, this is a great SEO hack that I only that I can only suggest to you. If you want to learn more about how to build a startup from zero to one, hacks like this, shortcuts, make sure to subscribe below. And yeah, have a great rest of the week.